of course, uh, artificial intelligence is everywhere. In your day-to-day -day life, you are seeing it. In your mobile phone, it is there. So it has to be there in ISRO, is it not? And ISRO is a top end institution. And you cannot be keeping ourselves away from use of AI in many, many applications. I'll tell you a little bit of about it, AI applications in, in uh, space. Uh, I talked about images that the satellites pick. And from the images, you need to understand what this outcome comes. So we use AI to process the images and then extract features out of it. If you are looking at an image, then there could be roads, trees, buildings, rivers, water, barren lands, agricultural land, and crops. And if you are able to identify them and classify them using AI, it is possible. Uh, now we are having that type of technologies. We also use AI for various other data analytics processes which are there on board. We use space, uh, no, natural language processing for uh, voice communication and other systems in our robots possibly. Vyomitra will be using those AI engines for us to communicate. We use AI for our, our uh, processing of launch vehicle data for health monitoring and analysis uh, and autonom autonomy generation in spacecrafts and rockets. And uh, AI is also used for uh, activities like non-destructive evaluation, uh, detection of flaws and defects in uh, PC, uh, our hardwares that we are manufacturing. Like that AI is used in robotics, vision, uh, processing and things like that. So there is plenty of activities related to AI and there are many groups working in ISRO related to AI activity.